Kevin Bazzuto trained Doug's Platter will be taking his first tentative steps towards bigger and better things, firstly during the Winter Carnival in Queensland, then hopefully attracting attention for the Eureka in early September. I caught up with his driver Josh Gallagher during his commitment to Club and Angle. Well, Josh, exciting times ahead with Doug's Platter. First of all, his trial was outstanding. You know, he, um, you know first trial back down 50, you know, it was pretty windy that day. And, um, you know, we drove him a little bit out of the ordering and we let on him, um, you know, and he trialled really good. So, um, you know, first run back this Saturday and uh, there's a few nice ones in it with Bluto and no heartthrobs. Um, you know, we'll be just driving like we did driving normally and just come with one run, but, um, you know, I don't think it'll be disappointing. You've mentioned two smart types there with Bluto and no heartthrob. If he's going to be vulnerable, Doug's Platter will be this time around. They do have race fitness on their side. Yeah, he's first up, um, but I have no doubt Kevin will have him ready to go. And, um, yeah, just can't wait to get back on him. He's pretty excited about this fellow, Kevin, the fact that he was unplaced in both the Pale Face and the Honda Grattan Sprints. It's not disgraced in either of those particular lead-up races for the Chariots to find that he's put together three strong wins. Yeah, no, he um, you know, was a little bit rushed going into the two sprint races and um, you know, he was able to show us what he really had um, in his next three starts. So, um, you know, it's, it's exciting all coming through the ranks and um, you yeah, just, just can't be grateful enough for being a part of it. No doubt if he makes the uh, trips to Queensland, you'll be hot on his heels? Yeah, um, you know, they've got a few big races lined up for him, so, um, you know, hopefully, hopefully he gets picked into them and I can get on the plane and um, have a good night. This is some exciting types around heading towards the Eureka, and he's certainly in the mix. Yeah, um, you know, being Australian bred only, you don't get um, those nice Kiwis coming over that, um, you know, they're racing in the chariots of fire, so... Um, gives us a little foot in the door there and um, you know hopefully hopefully we get a slot. Just going over to race two, number two Pete said so now peaking in condition following three runs back. Caught the eye last week, worked home nicely fourth behind. Hi my name is Jeff. Yeah no we um, hit the line very good. Um, we never used him out the gate last week so we got a good draw this week. Um, don't know what we're going to do yet but um, you know hopefully he'll be hitting the line like he did last week. Yeah, there's a horse by the name of Captain's Knock, which you're going to probably be up against in some of those Queensland races contesting the event. Fitter for one run back, but he's drawn the outside gate. Yeah, that'll be um, an advantage that we got over him, but um, you know, our bloke seasoned, seasoned enough. and um, He's a good horse, Captain's Knock, but um, when you start racing up in these big boy races, it sort of gets hard. Over to race three, you're taking the range behind Colonia Courage, drawn out in nine for the inform Troy Williams. Yeah, no, he's um, going good, Troy, and, um, you know, he's first run back for Troy, and, um, you know, we'll just have to see how the gate pans out early, and um, he does have a good gate speed, so hopefully we can get a handy spot. Over to race four, Vinette, nicely drawn in gate one, but coming off a disappointing effort at Newcastle. Yeah, no, she was a little bit plain at Newcastle, um, a bit harder company at, on Saturday night, but, um, you know, hopefully we'll be running the placings. You're going to need to pull out a special driver, I think, to get Joe Nean home for Leon Jordan in the uh, fifth event. Yeah, no, he's been a good old horse. Um, I think the last start I had him on, on him, he won. So, um, fingers crossed we can go do that again. Is that the key? Hope so. <laughs> Over to race six, Alabama and Jensen for Kerry Ann. Also, Kerry Ann with military merit, which went around t- today and was uh, a little bit disappointing in finishing out of the placings. Yeah, it's... Um one of these races where you got three, four and five year olds in it and um, we're a five year old and in this race so we've got a bit of a strength on our side and um, you know he's been racing well and hasn't been really raced a lot this prep but um, you know fingers crossed he'll be running the places. Yeah, he's been placed in three of his past four starts so on the score of consistently you would think he'd be competitive in this field? Yeah for sure um, you know it, it, it's sort of a um, age race so you don't really get those good free for all trotters in it and um, you know fingers crossed um, we get a good trip and we'll be right there and finish Over to race 7 and more in for now. once again for Kevin Bazzuto what would you make of the last performance? Yeah she was alright, I did a bit of work early um, probably a little bit too much than I anticipated to go and um, you know she does have good gate speed so hopefully we'll be using that this week and yeah Lucky Lodge have Dark Terror and also Shades of Heaven going around. 
yeah, they've been good old horses, and um, you know, Dark Terror's drawn one, and he'll get a good trip into it. And um, Yellow Fellow, he's drawn out a bit wider, so he might just have to go for a bit of luck. You produced an outstanding drive to get Sunny G home last week. Can you repeat the dose in the final event? Yeah, it was a um, little bit weaker company last week, and um, you got Caligula in this week, and um, you know, he can run a fast mile, but um, you know, we've been running second to thirds, running Royal Dan in 52, so. Um, you know, Sonny's just good old cream, cream painter and, um, yeah, fingers crossed he'll be thereabouts again. So what do you do from gate five, Josh? Go forward and look for a nice spot? Yeah, he's got good gate speed, so um, we'll try and hopefully cross and pull a hand up to Caligula. Yeah, probably Blake Fitzpatrick holds the key, as you mentioned, Caligula, which is fitter for recent racing and also one magic Kenny, so Blake has the cards there. Yeah, um, Kenny just run second then, so um, you know our, our bloke won't be won't shy away from a fight. But um, yeah, fingers crossed. A couple of tr- tough drives, Josh, but no doubt looking forward to Ducks Patter and Pete said so as your two best. Yeah, for sure. Um, you know they've been good old horses um, for the stable and connections, and um, you know hopefully hopefully get the job done on Saturday. You'll be handling all the driving instructions with the boss, uh, Mr Morris, heading off to Queensland? Yeah, for sure.